Hey and welcome back to the three tarot cards for the week. Hi and welcome to another tarot card reading for the week. Um, yeah, it's, it's the first day of spring here in New Zealand. If you're in another country, it may be something else, but I'm really enjoying it. The trees are getting leaves and you can see this whole new energy and burst of life happening. So absolutely loving that. <laughs> so um, for the start of the week, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So Monday, Tuesday, there's a real sense of um, change. And everybody's life has changes and cycles. It's quite often indicating the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So in this case, we're looking at the changing of the seasons and also of an you know, personal cycle. So the energy is kind of indicating that we're going through a shift and that'll be inner and it will also be seen outside of ourselves and our surroundings and the people around us and situations. There's a boat going past, so excuse that. Um, so, yeah, try not to overthink that. Go with the flow. That's the big message I'm getting for that time, for those changes, is not to get caught up in your mind with trying to figure it all out. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't get caught up in your mind with trying to figure it all out and, and just go with the flow and see how things evolve. I feel it's something that needs to be digested and processed, but very gently and without too much um, overthinking. So it's a natural cycle. It's the beginning of something new. And by midweek, we've got the Ace of Swords. So there's clarity there's a new clarity and new focus on what's next in life. And that can be in your private life. That can be with work. It can be with something else like your health. Um, just a new focus, a new direction, a new goal. So these changes, changing energies at the beginning of the week have brought in a new clarity and a new focus. And that's why I said don't let the beginning of the week kind of become a stumbling block and get too caught up in overthinking it. We go through these endings and beginnings and these cycles over and over again through life. And it's totally natural. As people, we like to know what's going to happen next and have some certainty. But like they say, the only certain thing in life is change. So it is about changes, but it's a positive change. And it's leading to more clarity and more focus and clarity and understanding of exactly where you're going it may also indicate that you need to speak up and say how you feel and say what you think to people rather than holding it within is quite a direct energy to the ace of swords it's about being upfront direct and calling a spade a spade so to speak so don't be afraid to say what you think okay use tact but don't hold back too much. So it is a very, very good time for getting clear and it's leading into the weekend, which is the full, which is not foolish. It's actually a new beginning, which always comes after a cycle of change. There is always a new beginning. And the um, full is indicating to be optimistic, to be happy about it, to enjoy it, to enjoy the new brightness and the new opportunities and all of those things coming into your life next weekend so it's a great time to get out there and socialize you might meet some new people that you really like that you enjoy being around you might see something new do something new experience something new um yeah so it looks really really fantastic for anything new at all it might be time to sit down and write yourself a bit of a mission statement of where you're going next um, it's a great time for starting new businesses new love affairs new relationships of any kind um, new projects around home and things like that or even moving to a new home so there is just a lot of change this week but it's a very clear focus change it's not too confusing it's not too wishy-washy 
it's quite clear and quite direct and these changes are something you'll consciously participate in and make happen so you know you're taking action and yeah so there aren't going to be any big problems with that sometimes you know the beginning of change like we have in the wheel of fortune we look back at the past a bit and digest that and process that but it doesn't last long in this case it's quite quickly time to move forward so very exciting very neat week perfect timing here in the southern hemisphere with spring that's always a new beginning and a new energy i'm loving seeing it here um also yeah i've just been booking some venues places where i'm going to work as i'm not doing the fairs this year i don't want to travel to a different town every single weekend and race around the country but I am still working <laughs> I'm working online and I'm going to do some events and markets and visit different towns and post on my website when I am in different towns so I'm going to be at the Kawara Wood Skills in Kawara which is an awesome event I really like it and at this point I'm still working through with the organizers for the Steamlink steampunk festival in Thames which yeah that sounds pretty exciting too and pretty interesting and quite unique so it'll be fun to be a part of that and yeah I do intend to visit most of the major centres and some smaller towns as well but a little bit slower than I did in the past when traveling with the fair um, yeah so that I can enjoy each area and have a bit of time to spend there and to have a bit of time to catch up with people you know so yeah anyway lots of love to you all i hope you have an absolutely amazing and wonderful week look forward to these new beginnings and i'll see you all in my next video and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more